Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel today I'm going to make spicy dry fried chicken curry and it's gonna be super spicy but uh, if you don't like spices you can always adjust the amount of spices because uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea first of all we need one whole chicken and uh, it should be in uh, small pieces not big chunks and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoon of black pepper powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of red chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, now mix everything together and put it in the fridge for an hour. To make this curry we need uh, a wok and a uh, little bit oil. You need little bit extra oil for this one and add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds in it, 1 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds and when you hear the crackling sound it's time to add sliced onion and I've taken one mini medium sized onion for that and now I'm going to cook uh, for a couple of minutes and then we are going to add other spices which is uh, whole cumin seeds one and a half teaspoon one tablespoon of dry curry leaves if you have fresh you can add three Now I'm going to fry all these spices and onions for 3 to 4 minutes. After 4 minutes you can see the color has changed. Now I'm going to add ginger and garlic paste. So ginger is 2 teaspoon and uh, garlic is 1 teaspoon. And I'm going to fry all these for one more minute. Now I'm going to add the marinated chicken. Now mix it well with the spices and cook it for a couple of minutes until the chicken changes its color. Now that you can see the color has changed, I'm going to add two cups of water. Now cover and cook for uh, 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, we have to make sure uh, the chicken is not very soft because now we have to add uh, the coconut milk as well so if it is already soft then we will have to cook it without the lid on now you can see little water is left and uh, it's time to add uh, coconut milk inside so you can see chicken is half cooked And now I'm going to add coconut milk which is 250 milliliter and uh, I'm gonna mix it with the rest of the gravy. So when you see gravy has become a little bit thicker and it looks milky, uh, now it's time to add the lemon juice which is going to be 2 tablespoons.
now it's time to cover and cook it again until um, all the gravy is gone and it starts releasing the oil so at this last stage we have to be very careful especially when all the water is uh, evaporating uh, just keep stirring so it doesn't stick to the bottom and it doesn't burn once it's burnt it, it is gonna give the very bad smell to this curry so now the curry is ready you can serve it with boiled rice or naan thank you for watching this video and see you again soon in the next video till then take care and bye bye